there was a teacher's union that was against this, stating that forcing students and teachers to sing the national anthem goes against the freedom of thought and conscience that is guaranteed in the constitution of Japan. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. After going through many obstacles, the 2020 Tokyo Olympics began on July 23rd and will continue until August 8th. I thought this would be a great occasion for me to talk about Japan's national anthem, Kimi ga yo, because you will surely be hearing it at the ceremonies. I would like to explain the meaning of the song by breaking down the lyrics and taking a closer look at when and how it was made. Understanding what is sung in the national anthem will surely deepen your understanding towards the characteristics of Japanese people and also the history of Japan. At the end of the video, I would like to introduce a problem regarding the national anthem, the conflict between the country and some groups of teachers who are fighting against the forcing of singing the national anthem at school ceremonies. Today, the national anthem is seen by some people as a negative legacy that is a symbol of the colonial invasion eras. And even if you get confused somewhere during the middle, that's okay. I will wrap everything up again at the end of the video in today's conclusion. So, let's go to the Then, let's first talk about the history and meaning of the national anthem. Japan did not have a national anthem until the end of the samurai eras and the beginning of westernization and modernization in the 19th century, called the Meiji Restoration. The rapid change was caused by the US coming to Japan in 1853 with their latest technology and weaponry to force Japan to release its isolation policies and open their ports for the US to use. The sudden event brought chaos to Japan, which led to the civil wars that destroyed the old shogunate and ended the samurai culture. After this, the new westernized Meiji government was established. One of the samurai clans that would later on destroy the old shogunate and establish the new government was buying weapons and learning the ways of western countries from the UK at that time. One day in 1869, the UK army tells the Satsuma Samurai that they should prepare a national anthem that represents the country. The infantry captain of the clan, Oyama Yuao, picked up a phrase, Kimi ga yo, from a celebration song of his hometown. The phrase originally comes from a poem that is included in the Kokin Wakashu compilated in 905 the first compiled collection of Japanese poems in history. So, the Japanese national anthem is originally a poem which the writer is unknown, but has been passed down for over a millennium through Japanese history. However, although this song was sung at past Olympics and widely at school ceremonies, it wasn't officially defined as the national anthem until 1999. The reason for this, we will talk about in the last chapter. Next, let's talk about the meaning of the song. It might look very complicated because it uses a lot of difficult kanji, but it's actually the world's shortest national anthem, so please stay with me. If we directly translate this song, it would mean something like, May you prosper long enough until a small rock turns into a big boulder and moss grows on it. It might not make too much sense, but it was originally a poem to wish for someone's long-lasting happiness. The boulder that is mentioned in this song actually exists in many places in Japan, and they look like this. It is really a huge boulder with tons of small rocks put together, and you can imagine how long it would take to get this big and grow moss on them too. Now, scientifically speaking, this boulder is calcareous breccia that is transformed into one large rock by calcium carbonate and iron hydroxide filling in the gaps between pebbles fragments over many years. But this makes it unbelievably unpoetic, so let's forget that I explained that. 
The way they expressed longevity by referring to a stone reflects the mind of Shintoism and its polytheism beliefs of worshipping nature. Kimi ga yo wa Please let me know in the comments about the history and meaning of your country's national anthem. I would love to learn from you. Next, let's talk about why there are some people who reject singing this song. So far, it just seems like a beautiful poem that wishes for someone's long-lasting happiness, right? However, the problem is, who? that someone is. The national anthem is believed to have been used to promote fascism after the major restoration to the end of World War II. At this point, the someone was clearly the emperor of Japan by Japan's post-Meiji constitution. This song was used for the deification of the emperor and forced Japanese people to worship him and justify the invasions of Asian countries. The whole idea of deification of the emperor was for the government to quickly establish centralized power and modernize, civilize, and lead the country to militarism so they can stand on equal footings with the Western countries. If you'd like to learn more about the historical background of the time, please take a look at this video where I explain about the history of religions in Japan. After Japan lost World War II in 1945, the U.S. temporarily prohibited Japan from singing the national anthem and raising the Japanese flag in order to disassemble the militarism and transnationalism of Japan. However, in 1958, as the restrictions were released, raising the national flag and singing the national anthem became mandatory at the entrance and graduation ceremonies of schools. There was a teacher's union that was against this, stating that forcing students and teachers to sing the national anthem goes against the freedom of thought and conscience that is guaranteed in the constitution of Japan. The conflict between the government and the union of teachers led to a terrible incident in Hiroshima in 1999, the suicide of a high school principal. It is believed that he died from stress of being sandwiched between two organizations. This is how finally in 1999, Kimigayo, the national anthem today, was officially defined by law that it is the national anthem in order for the government to suppress the activities of the union. At this time, the government stated, under the constitution of Japan, this song is a symbol of Japan and the unification of the Japanese people, and its position refers to the emperor based on the consensus of the whole nation. They again defined the emperor as the someone of this song. But unlike the militarism eras, it is because the emperor is the symbol of unification of Japan and Japanese people. Therefore, singing to the emperor means wishing for the whole country's happiness. But doesn't this sound like an excuse? They might have used a slightly different expression, but what they're saying is basically the same as the militarism era of Japan. This is how some of the teachers feel, and the battle between the government and the teachers' union continues to this day. And there are even some ongoing trials about the matter. However, please understand that the percentage of people who believe that Kimigayo is not appropriate as a national anthem is less than 10% of the Japanese population, according to a survey conducted by the government. Growing up in Japan, I have sung the national anthem many times at schools. 
but I've never imagined singing it for the Emperor of Japan. I always thought of it as a time that everyone there at the ceremony can calm their minds and be thankful for being able to welcome that day. I understand that there was an era where promoting nationalism and militarism was necessary for each country to protect their citizens and survive the wars of the past. However, I believe that we are now living in a new generation. And this new generation should not be about division and disconnection from one another, but more about cooperation and connection. The world holds many problems, for example, climate change, pollution, poverty, which cannot be solved by a single nation. This is a time that we need to take each other's hands and seek solutions together as human beings living on the same planet, Earth. I want to make it very clear that I love the land and people where I grew up in, Kyoto, Michigan, and Hiroshima, but I do not have any loyalty to my country. I would rather have faith towards humanity and love for this whole planet. Then lastly, today's conclusion. The Japanese national anthem was first created during the time of westernization in the 19th century when the UK army told the Satsuma clan that they should prepare a song that represented their country. The infantry captain of the clan picked up a phrase from a celebration song of their hometown, which was Kimi ga yo that originated from a poem compiled in Okin Wakashu. The poem was originally meant to wish for someone's long-lasting happiness by referring to how long it takes for small pebbles to become a huge stone and grow moss on it. However, during the colonial eras of the early 20th century, this song was used to justify militarism and the invasion of Asian countries. And someone referred to in this song was clearly defined as the deified emperor. There are some people, especially teachers, who are against forcing their students to sing songs that have such a history during their school ceremonies. And the conflict between the government and the union still continues today. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you thought, uh, Shogo, is, is that a flute you have there? Please hit the like button to help me boost this video. And my goal is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help would mean a lot. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. And please, check out our sub-channel and membership through the link inside the description box. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.